the topic is effect of phase difference phi between ex naught and ey naught here ex naught and ey naught are the component of the electric field and we know that in a polarization of a wave we require only electric field so here we talk about the effect of the phase difference between x component of e and y component of e and we know that the electric field phasor is given by equation that is e suffix s vector equals to e naught e to power minus gamma z in place of gamma we can write alpha plus j beta and e naught has two component that is e x naught unit vector x and e y naught unit vector y so here we consider a phase difference between these two component that is x component of e and y component of e and this phase difference should be less than pi by 2 and also we consider a lossless medium and in a lossless medium there is no attenuation so in this case alpha equals to 0 so after consider these conditions we get equation that is es vector equals to ex naught unit vector x plus ey naught unit vector y e to power j phi into e to power minus j beta z in this case since there is a lossless medium the value of alpha is 0 and when we put gamma equals to alpha plus j beta and we open with two exponent term one of the exponent term is e to power minus alpha z and second is e to power minus j beta z by putting alpha equals to 0 the exponent e to power minus alpha z becomes 1 and for the introduction of the phase difference phi we multiply e to power j phi with y component of e so this equation gives the effect of the phase difference phi between ex naught and ey naught and here we consider a lossless medium and we consider that the phase difference is less than pi by 2 now to convert this equation into the instantaneous form that is real instantaneous form we ha we have to multiply by e to power j omega t so here we multiply the above equation by e to power j omega t so that the electric field is a function of z and t that is position and time and the equation becomes ex naught unit vector x plus ey naught e to power j phi unit vector phi whole multiply by e to power minus j beta z into e to power j omega t here e to power j omega t is the factor that is used to convert it into real instantaneous form and from here the electric field is a function of position and time and here we combine the two exponent term so we get ex naught unit vector x plus e y naught e to power j phi unit vector y whole multiply by e to power j omega t minus beta z so after multiplying by e to power j omega t we take a real part to get a real instantaneous form and we know that the real part is cos term so from the first term that is the x component of e we get a real term that is ex not cos omega t minus beta z unit vector x similarly the y component of e has a real term that is e y not cos omega t minus beta z plus phi unit vector y so here ex not and e y not are the real terms and this equation is called a real instantaneous form of the electric field that is a function of position z and time t now we consider a case in which we first fix the time t and then we fix the position z so first we fix the time t for this we put t equals to 0 in the equation and we get 
e vector function of z comma 0 that is equals to ex naught cos minus beta z unit vector x plus e y naught cos minus beta z plus phi unit vector y and we know that cos minus x equals to cos x. So, we use this formula and the equation becomes e vector function of z only that is equals to e x naught cos beta z unit vector x plus e y naught cos beta z minus phi unit vector y. So, from here when we fix the time t equals to 0 we get the y component of e lags behind the x component of e. So, from here we conclude that when we fix the time then the y component of E lags behind the x component of E. Here only the position is varying that is z as shown in figure. From the figure when we fix the time t equals to 0 there is only variation with respect to z that is with respect to position and the y component of E lags behind the x component of E. So, from here there is a phase difference between y component and x component and here the y component lags behind the x component by phi upon beta. Here we take A as a crest of Ex and B as a crest of E suffix y that is y component of E and there is a difference in position that is given by phi upon beta. We get phi upon beta from the second term that is in y component of E. There is cos beta z minus phi. So, from here we get a value of z that is phi upon beta. So, from here we see that the y component lags behind the x component in z direction. That is the direction of the electromagnetic wave. So, this is the first point when we fix the time t equals to 0, the y component of E lags behind x component. Now, we consider that we fix the position. For this, we consider the observer location. This observer location is fixed. Now we increase time from 0. When the time increases from 0, we find that both the wave that is x component of E and y component of E moves towards positive direction of z. And as the location is fixed that is observer point is fixed, the observer find that y component of electric field reaches first and then x component. So, we conclude that when we fix the position and only the time varies, the y component leads the x component. So, when the time is fixed, the y component of E lags behind x component and when the position is fixed that is z equals to 0, the y component leads x component. Now, we note one point if the phase difference between x component and y component is 0, both the crust that is A and B are at the same location. So, the variation of the phase difference depend upon time and position. When time is fixed that is t equals to 0, the wave is frozen in position and in this case the y component lags behind x component and here the position varies that is z. So, it is called spatial dimension. Next is when the time increases from t equals to 0 that is a variable time and we fix the position that we set a observation location. In this case the y component of E leads x component and here we consider a time dimension because here we take variable time and fixed position. But in both the cases observer note that the net field rotates about the z axis while its magnitude 
changes. When we fix the time t, the wave return to the same orientation and magnitude at a distance of one wavelength. And when we fix the position, the wave return to the same orientation and magnitude at a time t equals to 2 pi by omega. So this is about the effect of phase difference phi when the value of phi is less than pi by 2 and the medium is lossless medium and we find that the effect of phase difference depend upon time and position. When we fix the time, the y component lags behind x component and when we fix the position, the y component leads x component.